All right, guys, welcome back to Endeavor. Uh, so we're gonna talk about using mitts, or a little mitt drill that we do, uh, to coordinate kind of hand fighting wrestling in close and with striking. Uh, we did a video on this involving high gear and utilizing high gear, but a lot of people don't have high gear. So we've been kind of adapting it to mitt drills as well. Uh, so the first thing we wanna start running people through is just some basic mitt work drills to get them used to moving hands out of the way, hand fighting, and, and things along those lines. So we start with a couple really easy elbow drills. The first thing that's gonna happen is Brooke's gonna grab onto either one of my wrists. And what she's gonna do is, with her right hand, she's gonna move the mitt down out of the way and strike with the elbow from there. And she comes up, resets, does it again with the left side. Bang, comes up, resets, does it again with the right side. And all she's doing is just getting used to getting the hand out of the way and physically moving the hand and hand fighting as she throws an elbow. The other variation, if she wants to go the same side, she's gonna throw the elbow and then clear with the same hand, and then I'll roll the elbow up, she'll clear, roll the elbow up, clear, roll the elbow up, clear, and you have that variation there as well, right? And so again, we're just getting in a habit of using the hands both to strike and to fight and move things out. Uh, the other option we can do is just learning to throw upward elbows in tight in between kind of like a high cover situation. So again, she'll set up with both hands on the outside of the wrist. She's gonna drop down into the middle of my hands, strike with an elbow there, come to the other side, strike with an elbow there, and she'll just go back and forth. Bang, 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 nothing to it. Not exactly the most complicated thing. Then we go ahead and we start getting in close with punches. So we start with uppercuts. Now in clinch range, I don't always have the time to you know, drop this big hip and drive with everything I've got. So I have to be in the habit of just throwing from the shoulder and being able to hit my targets relatively quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jam her with uppercuts. So I get in real close and she has to feed the uppercuts in nice and tight just in from here. It's just giving her a habit where she can't really get the same exact range she might get in some other places, okay? Then we're gonna take the mid away and we're gonna start getting a little more dynamic. Now I'm gonna grab onto her head. Now she has her uppercut, same exact thing here. And if I change the angle of the pad and go upward, now she can come up over top. And so now she's getting kind of a feeling for, okay, I can actually punch and hit and strike while I'm grappling, <clears throat> which is really important because a lot of people, the second somebody grabs onto their head, they forget about striking and they go straight to wrestling. So we want people to understand you can also strike at the same exact time. Um, as Ryan often says, your wrestling sets up your striking, striking sets up your wrestling. And then what we do is we just start building on this drill. So not only can she throw all of these uppercuts and not only can she go over the top and throw her punches, she can start grabbing on and throwing elbows from here. And then we make the drill a little more dynamic where maybe I'm grabbing onto her head or maybe I'm reaching across the body. And again, she's still fighting and going through and finding different positions to get into this, right? And then we start doing again, building and building and building to make it more dynamic, we're gonna switch sides, is now she's nonstop hitting. She's in tight, she's hitting the pad, hitting the pad, hitting the pad. And what I'm gonna start doing is just putting my hands in her way. And now she's gotta get through or around the hands, move them out of the way. I can grab onto the head, she can figure out how to get it, grab onto the head here. And then we keep building, we work in our head clears. So if I get onto the head, she learns her head clear to get control. If I go and reach cross body on her, she can go ahead and just pop the shoulder and take control that way. And what we can eventually build this to is utilizing stand-up grappling and our striking in really close. And so her objective is to non-stop strike this pad, and I'm going to be grabbing, clinching, throwing under hooks, uh, you know, turning angles on her and things like that, and she's gonna non-stop hit. So she's hitting, she's hitting, she's hitting, everything she's got. I start grabbing on, she counteracts. She can head clear, she can move herself out to a different position. I can change the angle of it. I can come over and get into positions here. I can grab on the head, pull it down. I can go over here, push on the shoulder. I can grab a wrist and pull it down and out of the way. And she's gotta start working in wrist releases and head clears and shucking and moving and getting into two on ones. And then you can take the drill and you make it as dynamic as you want. She can go for takedowns, all that kind of fun stuff, right? But it's just one target. I don't, I don't wanna get too confused with two mitts going around. It's one target and one hand getting out here and being interactive and grabbing on and pulling her in and knocking her off her base and things along those lines. So fun little drill we've been playing around with. Um, try it out for yourself. See how you like it. And we'll see you guys next time.